What is up Android phone fans? It's Eric for Mobile back in with another ROM review and it has been a while since I've reviewed a ROM so I'm pretty excited to jump into this one. Um, this ROM is called CR Droid and it just barely got an update today that's why I'm doing a fresh video on it and I'm really excited because I ran this ROM for a little, by, a little while when it was first ported over to the G3 back when Lollipop ROMs were first coming out but I didn't really feel like it was ready for prime time but it's gotten a bunch of updates since then and this latest one has been a really, really rock solid update. So let's get into what makes this ROM so good. First of all, it is um, based off of stock Android Lollipop. It is version 5.0.2, which is the latest version of Android out right now. And it's got a whole bunch of cherry picks and features added in from Cyanogen Mod and a bunch of other ROMs. So let's take a look at those. And you'll probably notice right off the bat, as you look at the phone, Everything is super tiny. They've um, the developers of the ROM have gone in and they've really scaled everything down super tiny, even smaller than they um, normally do on other ROMs. So the DPI on this ROM is currently set to 500, and usually when um, they go and make Lollipop ROMs look a little bit smaller, the DPI is around 560 or 540. So it's everything's really really tiny, and I actually feel like I like it a lot. I mean, if you jump into the app store and you're seeing, you know, six apps at once, seven apps at once, um, there's just a lot of information being displayed on the screen. So I like the fact that the DPI <clears throat> has been scaled down significantly. Um, jumping into the settings, um, you've got all the basic settings as far as your display and sound and um, accounts, all that good stuff. But where the good stuff is, is under the personalization tab here. So the CR Droid Custom is where all of the add-ons are gonna be for this ROM. And as you can see, there is a plethora of them. I can say that by far, this is probably the most feature-rich ROM that I've used so far. There's a lot of ROMs that come close um, that have a lot of um, you know customizations thrown in here and there. But this ROM just basically has everything. So you've got status bar, recent panel, lock screen, display, app circle, gesture, anywhere, animations, screen recorder, wake lock blocker, and device and maintainers. So um, I'm not gonna go through and touch on everything in every single one of these um, sections because a lot of these features are on other ROMs like Cyanogen Mod has added a lot of these in and other ROMs. But some of the really cool ones that um, have been added in that um, I haven't seen on other ROMs, I'll touch on those. So the first one is under the Recents panel. If you click on that, you have the option to use the Omni switch. Now this is how your Recents are displayed. So if you switch that on, Enable Omni ROM, yes, you wanna do that, you click OK. And then it brings up this whole subsection of um, how you can um, you know, enable Omni ROM. So you can click the Start on Boot, and then there's basically just a whole bunch of ways to customize how the Recents appear. But once you have it enabled up here and you come down and click your, your Recents button, it's no longer the card stack like you see in stock Android. It's this, what they call it Omni Switch. And so you can go through and select, you know, the most recent apps. You can jump into them from wherever you are, just like normal. Um, but the cool thing is, is they've also added in, um, and you, oh, I forgot to mention, you can also get to it. You see this tiny little um, kind of cyan, looking colored circle over here on the corner instead of just hitting that button to access them you can swipe from anywhere on your screen um, or you can swipe from any app you're in on the side right there to enable them and they've also got the software keys for you know home and back and settings and your app drawer so that's a pretty cool feature and then um, that's fun to use now as you can see with my phone the way i have it set up currently is i've moved the status or i've used moved the clock and the pm to the center of the status bar I've taken out the battery icon and added 100%. That can all be done under the status bar um, tweaks. That's nothing that's really new, but in case you're wondering how I did that, you do it through the status bar section right there. Another really cool thing that I have only seen in this ROM and none others is the lock screen section. And what you can do in here is add shortcuts to your lock screen, like in KitKat and Jelly Bean and older ROMs, um, to you know have quick access to apps. And so I'll show you what I mean by that. These middle screen shortcuts, I've added some to the lock screen already. So if you turn the phone off and turn it back on, you can see right there, I've added these specific apps to my lock screen where in I haven't seen any other ROM yet, at least for the Verizon version of the G3 that has this option. And if you want to get into one, you simply long press on it. Oh, I missed it. Simply long press on the app and boom, it jumps you into that app. So 
I, I think that's a really cool feature that, like I said, that hasn't been implemented into any other ROMs that I've seen yet. Now there's also a feature where you can change these bottom um, applications. I haven't done that yet, so where you would swipe in to access your camera or swipe in to access your phone, you can change these at the bottom as well. Like I said, I haven't done that. But I just think that's really cool that we have that option now, finally. I was waiting to see who was going to be the first ROM to you know, implement shortcuts on the lock screen. So CR Droid, here it is. Just a couple other quick things here under the CR Droid custom settings. Um, there's a screen recording, which is really cool. This is awesome if um, you want to make videos, but you don't have a, a camera or whatever to do it with. Um, you can record straight from the screen of your phone. Wake lock blocker basically... Um, you know, handles uh, your data connections and keep your keeps your device from while it's asleep constantly um, activating the processor and stuff so you'll get better battery life. And then down here at the bottom is the device and maintainers. So this ROM for the G3, at least for the Verizon version, is a port. So this isn't a, an officially supported device for this ROM. You can see here all the officially supported devices and the G3 is on here, but I believe it's just most of the international versions. I think maybe the T-Mobile one. I'm not sure what all the other carriers um, specific codes are there. But um, this has been ported to pretty much all of the G3s so we can enjoy it. I can say without a doubt that this has been really stable. I haven't had freezes or hangups, anything like that. The battery life's been rock solid. So even though this isn't an officially supported ROM, it has run really, really well. And as soon as these um, the devs for the ROM have released updates. The maintainers have pushed them out to all the other devices right away. So you get updates just as fast as you would if your device was officially maintained. So that's really it for the CR Droid customizations. There's a lot of things I didn't go into. So if you download the ROM, um, which I highly recommend, you can go through and play with the vast um, selection of customizations that's been added. Like I said earlier, this is by far the most feature rich ROM that I've used so far. So jumping back out of there, the next thing I want to talk about is themes. This is finally being added to pretty much all Lollipop ROMs now. This is a Cyanogen mod feature, and basically what it allows you to do is theme your device to you know look different. So when you jump into that category, it'll show you what your currently um, theme is set to. So it's just the default theme that the ROM boots into. And all you have to do to get more is you can just go into the Play Store, or you can download Cyanogen Mod's um, own theme manager, which is this uh, icon right here. Click into that and you can just come through and there's just hundreds and hundreds of free and paid themes that you can download and apply to your phone. And it'll change your wallpapers, your fonts, your icons. Um, it'll change the, the coloring um, you know, theme of the phone. So it's really cool to see themes finally making its way to the Lollipop ROMs. It's just another fun way to you know personalize your device. Um, but I think that's it for this ROM, guys. Like I said, it's fast, it's smooth. Uh, battery life's been really good. I ran it for uh, all of today. It just, just barely got updated to this current build today for the 26th of January. So I ran it all day, uh, and it's been rock solid. I'm going to use this ROM for the foreseeable future. It's going to be my daily driver just because there's so many customizations, and it just runs so well. So that's it for this ROM, guys. I really appreciate you checking out this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up if you're new. Uh, please subscribe. I'll uh, keep turning out these, um, you know, ROM review videos in the future. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. We'll see you on the next one.